So, who's in the audience for Vexite Q Challenge? Uh, who's in the audience for Vex Survivors Competition? My Vex IQ Challenge friends, Vex Robotics Competition people sound a little bit louder than you. We're going to kick it off with the Vex IQ Challenge game. So I want to hear you all, Vex IQ Challenge people, show them how loud you can be. Count with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Challenge High Rise! The object of the game here is simple. Move cubes from one side of the field to the other side of the field. Nice and easy, right? Nice and easy. You would think so. That gets you one point for every cube that you move. So, one point is not quite much. Now is it? One point per, per cube, Carthage? Hey Grant, let's do some teamwork here. We're partners here. Have me small those red cubes, okay? I need red, some red. red cubes? Red's the way to go, man. This is the name of the game. Karthik is building on a high rise base, a high rise. Forever. I got a high rise here that's five high. <coughs> Suddenly, every red cube is worth five points. Grant, give me some more red cubes. Let's do some more teamwork here. Teamwork is the key to achieving the highest scores in the teamwork challenge portion. I could be one robot on this side of the field passing five books and cubes. Now, now, you said each one is a multiplier, right? So six times? Seven? Similar. Eight? Something from last year. I'm suspicious. Nine? It's a really bit there is no limit to how high your high rise could be in Vex IQ yeah. Challenge high rise. That's pretty exciting. Why don't we get to the video and find out some more details? That one's not quite the right size. That's what it's worth. Vex IQ Challenge. I think there might be a reality to it. There are three ways to play Vex IQ Challenge high rise. First, two teams will collaborate with 60 second team world challenge matches. Working together to maximize their YouTube. score, both teams it's going will receive the same points. Second, each team will have the opportunity to play Robot Skills Challenge matches. In these matches, they have 60 seconds of driver control time to score as many points as possible as an individual team. Lastly, each team will also have the opportunity to play Programming Skills Challenge matches, in which they have 60 seconds of autonomous robot operation to score points. No drivers allowed. Vex IQ Challenge High Rise is played on a 4 foot by 8 foot field. Robots start on the floor in the predefined starting positions. The score objects in Vex IQ Challenge High Rise are 3 inch cubes that come in 3 colors red, green, and blue. There are a total of 36 cubes, 12 of each color, on the field that are part of the game. One cube of each color is used for the base cubes. 33 cubes are set up in three rows and are available for robots to score during each match. The object of the game is to attain the highest score possible. Teams can score by moving cubes from their starting position to the scoring zone. Each cube in the scoring zone is worth one point. Teams also need to build high rises from cubes on each of the three colored base cubes. Since high rises multiply the score of different colored cubes in the scoring zone, Teams will want to build their high rises as tall as they can. The taller the high rise, the bigger the score. For official robot requirements and official game rules for Vex IQ Challenge High Rise, please see the Vex IQ Challenge game manual found at roboticseducation.org and vexiq.com. Also, don't forget to visit vexiqforum.com for all the latest information and updates. Good luck and have a great season.